Oh oh. Olli ist down. It's a rainy morning in Wales. Not the morning we all hoped for. So I think I'm going to start the morning by taking off the GoPro not waterproof media mods and putting on the waterproof door. Raincoats are a good idea for today. The UK summer! <laughs> you always have to be prepared with a lot of rain covers. Isn't that what the scouts always talk about? Yeah, be prepared. Always be prepared. And the reason that they say that is because in because they live in England <laughs> and what they mean is always be prepared with a raincoat <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. It's day 10 on the Trans Euro Trail, making our way all the way through England, through Wales, and all the way to the border to Scotland. We're having breakfast in a marquee. Yeah. Very soggy marquee. Yeah, luckily this campsite isn't just a field. It has this little waterproof covering where we can hide for a little bit whilst we have a second coffee. And what are you guys having for breakfast? Whoa, look at that. I don't know, but it's escaping. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of these all day how do you call them? It's like an all day breakfast in a bag. Boil in the bag breakfast. There you go. Boil in the bag breakfast for breakfast. So the forecast is pretty much like this the whole day. It's sort of coming in waves where it's more intense and less intense. So we're just going to hopefully ride to all the less intense bits throughout the day and we should be fine. But anyway, let me show you guys where we're heading today. So we are here. And today we are going to be continuing our way westward into Wales and we're hoping to reach somewhere around the town of Neath. Breakfast time is over, but it's still raining, unfortunately. Anyway, it's already 9.30 and we still have to pack up a little bit, so better hit the road, let's go. Yeah. Oh yes. You have some grass on your camera. <laughs> you can't even see through your camera lens because it's so oh no. wet. It's gonna be a wet day. <laughs> My helmet is all damp inside. <laughs> Ready to start? All right. Yeah. Why is the camera down here? You lost the camera! Oh, Rob, you lost the camera then! Wait, I'm coming! Did I have the lens cap on? Uh, no, well, no, no it but it doesn't look like that it's broken, luckily. I think it fell. Yeah. On this side, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. It looks still good. I stick it in my pocket. Yeah, yeah. Put it in your pocket. Yeah, pocket. it's because it was clicked in like that. Yeah. I mean, clearly, this bag has pushed it back yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, we just chose the biggest hill in the world to stop on. <laughs> we did actually, though. Yeah. yeah. So we started back on the trail and we started heading up this massive hill with like a whole stream of water running down it. But it was still sort of tarmac. 
as you can see. So I thought, okay, that's okay, let's just carry on. But then we get to this gate and beyond the gate, a massive rocky stream of a road. Yeah, it doesn't look like much fun and it looks more like that we would probably break the bikes and our legs. <laughs> I think if the conditions were dry, I would say, yeah, let's start this bit and just see how it goes. But honestly, this is a massive hill and with all these rocks being as wet as they are, that would just be crazy. So I think we're going to head back down the hill, find our way around to the next part of the trail. Yeah, just keep your back brake on, yeah, not the front brake. So it is still raining and we decided to abandon the trail for today. And we saw on the Tet route that there was this place behind me, which is a Welsh coal mining experience, but they're fully booked for today. So they have slots that we can do for tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. So we decided to book ourselves in here, find a local hotel and give up for today. I'm so happy to be inside and we ordered already some nice food. That's what you need on a cold, rainy day in Wales. A nice warm pie. Thank you. Thank you. So it's still raining outside. We can't stay at Morrison's Cafe for the whole day. So we've had a look online at different hotel options around the area and there isn't much available. The cheapest we've managed to find is a travel lodge, which is in a town called Kefeli. It's about 20 minutes from here. So we're gonna head there now, get off all this wet kit and get warm. Good morning guys. We are back at the Welsh coal mining experience. We're right on time, 9.45, ready for a tour into the mines. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Very good. good. Just on the benches, you have a reception. Yeah. Right. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. We've got to sit here on the benches. What's your best Welsh accent? Boyo. <laughs> I'll take it. And guys, honestly, check out the weather today. What a different day compared to yesterday. Oh my God. And look at this. It's a big tower. But I'm sure we're going to learn all about it on our Welsh mining experience tour. Coal mining in Wales has a rich and storied history, shaping its landscape and communities for centuries. Beginning in the early 19th century, Welsh coal fueled the Industrial Revolution, powering factories, railways and steamships around the world. The valleys of South Wales in particular became the heart of a booming industry, with miners working tirelessly in the depths of the earth. We're about to go underground. <laughs> the Rhonda Heritage Park exists on the site of the former Lewis Merthyr coal mine, or colliery as they are known, as a testament to the coal mining industry of the Rhonda Valleys, which until the end of the 20th century was one of the most important coal mining areas in the world. 
In an area only 16 miles long, Rhonda alone had over 53 working collieries at one time, and the port of Barry had become the largest coal exporting port in the world. As the 20th century progressed, demand for coal declined, leading to the closure of many pits. Today, the coal mines of Wales are largely silent, but their legacy lives on in the culture, heritage and memories of the Welsh people. The remnants of this once thriving industry serve as a powerful reminder of the region's past and the enduring spirit of its communities. Back above ground again. And Lavi got a piece of coal. You got a bit of coal on your forehead. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Oi! Oh. So there we go, the Rhonda Valley mining experience. And we just stopped our shift. <laughs> yeah, they told us that they had children as young as four years old working in the mines at one stage like not recently but like in the 1800s how crazy is that it's unbelievable actually and they told us that those kids worked in total darkness for a whole 12-hour shift and then he said like some of them developed mental problems afterwards and you're thinking well yeah obviously but i thought that was actually a really really nice experience i really feel like i know about Welsh coal mining now. They showed us the huge machines that they used to um, lift the cages up and down that transported the people, the horses and the coal, even the coal, up and down the mine shafts. And it was really cool as well because the guide who was leading it, he was actually working down in the mines when it was operational. I think it closed its doors in around 1986 or so. So up until the mid-1980s, that was a working coal mine. And outside, they even have the last drams of coal that they took out of the mine and they've left it there for, for the heritage. So this street here would have actually been the miners' workers' houses. It's really interesting, actually, because the entire village of Porth was actually built and owned by the mining company. So all the houses here would have been built by the mining company. It would have been where the miners worked and lived and they would have paid their rent to the mining company. But it goes even further than that because actually the mining company created their own money. And that money was actually only valid to be spent in the shops in this village which were also owned by the mining company. So basically, the people worked in the mines, paid their rent back to the mining company, bought all their stuff that they needed to live from the mining company. Almost like a sect, eh? I don't know, yeah, it's some kind of con, I'm sure. It's like not fair at all. <laughs> yeah, what a crazy life that would have been for the guys living here. Yeah, incredible. Wow. 12 hour shifts underground, starting work at four years old, and at the end of the day, pay all your money back to your owner. Doesn't seem that bad, the working condition these days, eh? <laughs> so now we are going to be heading back to this place where we were yesterday, Morrison's. <laughs> yes. Our good friend Morrison's. <laughs> We thought the prices were so good here yesterday when we came for lunch that we would come again. <laughs> yes. We've moved absolutely nowhere. <laughs> but anyway, we've had a good experience. We've had a nice hotel stay. And now we're going to have some good food. Because actually, after this, Rob is going to be heading back to his home in Leicestershire and leaving us on our way. I know it's not breakfast time, but I couldn't resist getting the full English. All of this for seven pounds, that's good value for money. Thanks, Morrisons. Well, thanks so much. We will see you once we get back from the rest of the trail, all right? Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah. And we see you very soon. I'm glad you survived the trail so far. <laughs> <laughs> you took on some rocky hills. You took on a bush. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. But you made it out. <laughs> that is some impressive flexibility. Don't worry, we're gonna we're gonna stick to Lavi's two miles an hour limit on the on the trail, so we'll be fine. <laughs> the most we can do is just fall over nicely into a bush, so don't worry. Yay! See ya. Bye bye Rob. <laughs> anyway, we've had a Welsh mining experience for the morning. Yes. We've had a lovely lunch at Morrison's. Mm -hmm. 
We've said goodbye to Rob. Yes. There's only one thing left to do. Let's hit the trails, eh? Let's hit the trails. <laughs> I think we're going up and over this mountain in front of us. Man, that looks stunning here. Where are we? <laughs> I have no idea, but I just saw a sign that was like mountain pass, blah, 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 meters. I think it was something like 300 something meters. Cool. Wow. And yeah, I can see the road snaking up there all the way to the top. It looks like the top of the pass is where those cars yeah, are at I the very see. top. Yeah, I can see that. This is going to be a test of our 11 horsepower. Oh no. Oh, there's a little sheep on the road. Oh, there is a sheep on the road. Yeah. Hello. Oh, there's another one. Oh. <laughs> oh, and another one. Oh no. Guys, what are you doing here? All right, I've dropped down a gear. Yeah, me too. But wow, look at this landscape. Wow. This is stunning. Oh, stunning. Look oh. at this massive cliff in front of us. Incredible. I can't believe that Rob literally just turned back only like five miles ago. Oh, what a shame. What a shame. Look how many bikers there are on this path. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Wow! I think this is like my first proper sort of mountain pass, you know? Riding yes. yourself? Yes! Wow, <laughs> nice! Wow! There you go. Up in the clouds, hey? <laughs> Look at this sheep here. He's just like in front of the camper van waiting for food. Is he waiting, actually? Look. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Look, he's actually looking at the camper van waiting for food. Yeah. Boop. <laughs> wow. There we go. Look at that. Some kind of a view, hey? Yeah. It's totally different when you get up on the hills. Because like when you're down on the street, you're like just in between this, all these like miners' houses, like rows and rows and rows of miners' houses. Yes. And you can't really see too much. But you totally forget that they're surrounded by all of this, like huge, huge... Mountains. Not bad, Wales, hey? Not bad. Not bad. So we were up here enjoying the view, and then Preston here came up to us and said, It's Lavi and Ollie. <laughs> Small world. Even yeah. around the world. <laughs> so you saw us just, what, down in the valley in Treorchy? I was the guy with the plank of wood. Oh. Skirting board I was, I was carrying skirting. <laughs> I thought you'd be up here. <laughs> nice! Oh, it's well, really nice to meet you. Awesome. Yeah. And you ride a Triumph? Triumph Tiger 1200, I ride. Triumph Tiger 1200, yeah. nice, nice. On the test, hey? On the test, yeah. I'd be the one upside down in the water. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that as well. yeah. We've given Preston a sticker, happy and alive, yeah. for finding us on the trail. <laughs> Enjoy, guys. Thank you so much. Catch up with you again. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> How cool is that? I think that's the first time we've been recognised here on the trail. Yeah, true. Yeah, famous in Wales. So Preston told us that this here in Welsh is called a bulk. Now I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but it's basically their word for a mountain pass. A bulk, bulk, bulk. I don't know, something like that. <laughs> and we're still going up. I thought we were at the top. No, we're still going up. Look at that. And that's the town of Treorchy down there in the valley. Wow. What a cool view. Yeah. We are on top of the mountains now. All 11 horsepower. Come on, Van Van. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Get to the top of the bulk! Hoo <laughs> 
All right, looks like we've hit our first green lane of the day. Why does everything have to be such a big hill? Don't know if you guys can see how big a hill this is, but honestly, it's quite steep up ahead. <laughs> How does it look? Does it look okay? A bit rocky, hey? It looks quite rocky, but I think it looks doable. <laughs> well, I mean, at least it's not raining. The rocks look dry enough, don't they? This one is a little bit slippery, for sure. Okay, let's uh, remember to avoid that rock then. Yeah, I'd say this is, uh, I wouldn't say doable, but I'd say Triable. Triable, hey? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's give it a go. Okay. Let's do it. I am not down just yet. It's good. quite rocky here. It's quite rocky. Okay. Oh, hit a rock. Oh. went a different way. <laughs> this is an adventure, hey? It is an adventure. Some big rock here. <laughs> oh my God. Heart attack? Oh my God. It's all good. Woo. It was definitely a lot of rocks. Wow, I was in a, a little bit of a uh, exercise for my arms. Not bad. Woo! <laughs> no! We have a rocky hill up and a rocky hill down. Whoa, it's quite big, big rocks, big rocks up in the bush. Oh wow, look how nice that is here with the ferns around. That's beautiful. It's lovely. Wow, look at this track. Oh, hit my bash plate there. Yeah, it looks still all right, everything. Oh, yep. Ah. Oof, 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 oof. Okay. Ah, 
bloody hell, mate. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, Bramble. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> Up we go. Come on, Charlie, you can do it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, just take a pause. Everything's still in one piece? Yeah. Man, some bits here are like, oh, that's nice, that's all right. And then some bits are just absolutely crazy. <laughs> oh, man. I'm still in one piece. Still alive. Oh, happy and alive. <laughs> still happy and alive. You and Charlie. I think we will just yeah, chill out for a minute and then continue. But <laughs> it's been so mad. Absolutely madness. Wow, look at this at the top of the hill here. Whew. Look at those views. We can see the south coast from here. Look at that. I am sweating. <sighs> I'm dying. So I just looked it up on the map and that over there where we can see like the industrial area and the smoke, that is Port Talbot. And over there is Swansea, just around that hill. And we are on unidentified road in the middle of nowhere. Cause Kimreig Eifd. Welsh mature cheddar. Oli is making the late lunch today for us, which is nice. What are we having? Crackers and cheese. Crackers and cheese. It's nice to have a little rest for sure. Uh oh. Ollie is down. We just finished our break, like literally a hundred meters there, and I was just like da di da di da, chatting away, and I, I must have lost focus because I went into this muddy bit here, uh -huh. and then suddenly, I don't know, suddenly the whole bike was just whoop, and I had no chance. Oh no! I don't know. Okay, are you ready? Yep. Wait a second. Three, two, one, go. <sighs> It was just a bit wet, I think, the mud. Yeah. I heard the, the handguard like smack against the floor, so I'm happy that was there, because otherwise I probably would have broken my brake lever. Anyway, it looks like it's one to me, zero to you today. There is a lot of mud and like big rocks like this here. Can you see there are some big rocks? And then you have to sort of choose where you go. Woo. There's as well a, a gate every five seconds. I will call it the gated trail. What is that bit here about? Oh no. Yeah, I mean, look at this little trail here. It's beautiful, but it's crazy at the same time. Okay, little river crossing in the end. Let me see. Oh, a little bit deep. Oh, oh. oh my god. So I just go, yeah? Oh. Okay. Oh, yes. We're free. So we're just coming into the town of Neath. And this town, Neath, marks our furthest point west in Wales because from here we are going to be turning north heading through the Brecon Beacons National Park and heading towards the Snowdonia National Park but before we make our way any further north we are going to find a nice camp for tonight because it is already six o'clock I'm ready for a nice camp so we had a look on the map and we found actually a scout camp and I looked on the website and it says that it is £5.50 for non-members to camp there per person. So that's a really good price. So we're going to go check that place out. It's only one mile from the centre of Neath and see if that's alright for us to camp there. This is it right here, Neath Scout Campsite. Right, see if there's somebody that we can talk to. Okay, so the scout camp is a no-go. The guys here said that they have two scout camping fields, but they've actually got 
two big groups of children taking up all the space. So they have no extra space for us. So we've had a look on Google Maps and we've seen a little camping, which is 2.5 miles up the road. There doesn't seem to be any reviews, so we have no idea what to expect, but we're gonna go there now and check it out. Tan Iru Farm. Nobody seems to be answering this little intercom. Let me try the bungalow. I mean, it tells you the pin to the gate. One, nine, three, five. Yeah, should we just drive down? Okay. Okay, I can see a bungalow up ahead. Let's check it out. There's a car there. So let me go ask. Hello, doggy. Doesn't look like it's about to attack me, that's good. Hello, hi. Um, Over the other side of the... Um, I don't know, you get the... On the Pine Ant Road, it is. Oh, okay, okay. You have to go back back down to the bottom of the okay. village. Okay, yes. Basically down and then back yeah, up. Yeah, that's right. It's not that far. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, I'll go check it out. Thank you. Hello. Lovely area here, by the way. Very yeah. nice. Yeah. Great. Okay, so apparently that place was not a campsite, but she said that there is a campsite just on the other side of this river. So we're going to follow her advice. It's always an adventure trying to find a campsite, hey? <laughs> oh, it's automatic. Look, get out the way, get out the way. Look at that, state-of-the-art gate on this farm. Here we go, Glen Imul Farm. Hello, Hello, hi. We were told at the other farm over the hill that there might be camping possibility here? Yeah. It's uh, two of us with a tent, and we just wondered if that's if it's possible for tonight? Yeah. Yeah? Be happy here. It's uh, a yeah. very basic site. You okay. You understand, farm, and it's portaloos or compost toilet. Okay. There is a shower, there are okay. other facilities. This place is off grid. The only thing we have is electricity. Okay. And there's not much of that. Okay. <laughs> so there's no luxuries here. It's an eco site, it's back to basics, okay? Mm -hmm. There's sinks for washing up. Mm -hmm. There's hot and cold water on demand. Mm -hmm. There's a microwave for you to use. I think there's a kettle, Ooh, there's kettle a toaster, there's plug sockets for you to charge, oh, any you. phones or anything. Okay. Step this there way. There you go, that is, that is luxury. I think this is our spot. 20 quid for tonight. I think it's gonna be pretty good here. Yeah, I think so too. Very peaceful, quiet, we're the only ones. Yeah, nice. We've got some noodles for dinner. <laughs> Good evening, guys. We made it. Happy and alive. Happy and alive. <laughs> Available on Etsy, limited edition. No, sold not. out. Oh, sold out. I'm sorry. <laughs> we might get more in at some point. <laughs> We're here and all set up. We've got the tent over there, which is still drying out from the rain two days ago. And we've got the office here. Everything's importing and lots of data transferring going on. This is our dinner choice for tonight. Some nice chicken flavored instant noodles. Only the best. And for dessert, we will have some chocolate. Nice. And on top, we will probably have a chocolate Drink. Rob's army rations hot chocolate. This is absolutely brilliant stuff. That army food is amazing. But it's been so nice over the past few days riding with Rob and getting to hang out in a space which is not his workshop for a change. Yes, Rob, it was so much fun to ride the trails with you and we miss you already. And I can't believe how beautiful the trails ended up to be today. I mean, obviously it was very, very challenging, but at the same time, when we stopped and we looked around, we felt really in the middle of nowhere, just sharing the place with some jeeps. <laughs> yeah, we're finally getting to see the wilder side of Wales, the open hills and landscape. So it's getting really good. So definitely looking forward to hitting the trails again tomorrow and seeing more of Wales. Yes, and that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time.